Hello, and today we're going to learn how to use deep neural network to create your unique avatar. Ready? Let's start. To create your unique avatar, we're going to use Discord, Meet Journey, and your creativity. I'm going to provide all the links what you might need to use, and let's start. Here we already have a Discord, and you can see the history of my work when I was just trying to, to use it to prepare for this video. And the uniqueness, what you can do, you can not only generate the images based on your prompt, you can also replace the faces with your photo. So if you scroll down, see, that is examples that we're trying to implement in today's video. Where we'll start. First, you need to install your Discord if you don't have one. After you install it, we need to sign up for Meet Journey and I believe you do need to have subscription. I choose monthly payment. I, I believe it's around like $10 if you pay months by months. And before we continue, so assume you already have Discord training. We need to install Inside Face. I will put this link below so you can just use it and add to your Discord. You click, we need to select the server and before we select the server, we need to create one on Discord. How are we going to do that? Go into Discord, you see the plus sign, add server, create my own. I'm going to do the new one. So let's say Puma server. You can put any name that you wish. Continue. So we created our server and you will see it will pop up on the top of your Discord. Now, as it's done, we need to use inside face. Once you log in or follow the link, we should see that server will pop up in the field of selections. We'll pick the newly created one, go, authorize. We prove that we are humans, hopefully. <laughs> Now the server was added and we see you made it inside face swap. So what are we going to do next? First, we're going to generate what you, the server will help us to create that images based on the prompt. But as you recall, we want to use our face at some point to change it. So when you click the dash, select save ID, and you need to upload the photo. So just before, oh, not this one, but this one, I took a selfie. You can take one right now and send it through AirDrop to your laptop. So once it's added, you need to put, I think you need to be loaded. We're coming back. So we're selecting save ID and be careful what format of the image you're using. As first we use fake or H-E-I-C, not sure how to say it. Well, we need to convert it and we're going to use JPEG. We put the name, you need to fill in this field and our image is uploaded. The next and last piece, what we need to do before generating the new images, we need to add the Meet Journey bot to our Discord. You can follow the, the link and you will see it will pop up on your dashboard. So once we complete it, we are ready to start creating. We missed one part. We need to add Meet Journey bot to our server. And for those who don't know what Meet Journey is, Meet Journey is generative artificial intelligence program. And how are we going to do that? Assuming you already signed up for these services, we go to the Meet Journey Discord tab. Click on Mid Journey Bot 
and we're going to add this application to our server. Select the one that you created and continue. And done. Go to Xenium server. Now we have everything that we need. And let's imagine. So this part, you want to write a prompt on what kind of type of pictures you want to create. I often use the help of ChatGPT or Bard. So prompt me what are you going to create? Do you have any favorite actor or maybe anime? I'll probably use Russian spy, high resolution, San Francisco background. If you want, you can type it that prompt right in the field that provided. I like to use the help of the chats to expedite the development. Black trench, let's see. Russian spies, then they just black shirts and coats, sunglasses, briefcase. Okay, I like it. Um, the only thing I put, she is dressed in black trench coat. Um, she is blonde and dressed in a black dress coat and they are mm, and carrying a briefcase. The spy is looking out uh, and put San Francisco background. San Francisco background. Background. Are we done? Once the prompt is ready, we copy paste it and waiting to see what me journey will create for us. Let's give it some time. We will come back to see the results. Now we can see our images being generated and ready to use. In my opinion, the results are amazing. So looking at this four newly generated options, you need to select one that you like the most and where are we going to place your face i like the third option and the thing is you can try with different variations but usually from my experience the ones images being tempered when in the most quality results when the face looks straight but it, it really depends. So let's see what we'll get using the third option. So all you're going to do, you, you select the image that you like. You can count it one, two, three, four. I like the third option. By clicking on U3, you'll see it will pop up on the next tab. And next, we want to add up and send it to an swapper and see what we'll get. Let's give it some time. That is our result. Not bad. Let's try. I'm curious to try the first one. Let's see. Hot will pop up. We'll do the same procedures. App and wiper. Actually, I love it. I love this one even more. So we have covered how you can generate images using Midjourney, Discord, and apply your creativity. Let me show you the last insightful trick. So you don't only, you can use the generative AI to create the images or 
you can pick any application or oh, the the image so i'm going to use uh, the barbie one but you can pick any of your favorite actress we're going to upload i picked that image is downloaded to my Uh, uh, the load folder, you click on a plus sign, you add it, and we're going to do the same thing. Go into the apps, go to Inswiper, <laughs> and see your face appears on that. <laughs> wow, pretty amazing, pretty amazing. Uh, I'm happy with what we got. Hopefully you enjoy this video, and if you want to more this content, education content, and the space, I'll happy to share that with you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.